So while my desk is a bit messy, I've got a pretty good computer setup. Aorus K1, Aorus M5, Stream Deck, SEO device, and a nice computer. My question is, does this stuff matter? Does having a good computer setup affect your real world performance? Will it change your stats within the game? That's what I wanted to find out. And so what I did was two things. One, I uh, did some testing on my main setup, which has a Cherry MX mechanical keyboard, as well as an Aorus M5, Ryzen 7 5800X, RTX 4060 Ti, 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 27 inch monitor that is 1440p and 160 hertz refresh rate as well as two 21 inch monitors that are both 1080p 75 hertz what i did after that was get a second setup which was far less fancy for the second setup i got this laptop which is my travel laptop which is still a nice laptop in actually this is a dell g15 5520 i believe got a 12th gen intel core i5 32 gigs of ddr5 memory sodium as well as a mobile rtx 3050 not bad specs but not great but i also ran it with the membrane keyboard as well as for the mouse. The mouse was the Sonic B optical wired mouse that I got for seven bucks. Still got DPI settings and side buttons and isn't a bad mouse by any means but compared to the Aorus M5 it's a big jump. So a membrane laptop keyboard, a 120Hz laptop screen that is VA 1080p as well as just a mouse pad that I had printed for my D&D party a while ago. And so on both of these setups I did two rounds of testing. One, a round of aim labs. I gave myself one practice round and then a proper one that I registered the results for. That was to test the accessories and if that would affect your gaming. And the second one was running a game Helldivers to check if the performance and the accessories would affect it. Because Helldivers runs a fair bit worse on the laptop than it does the computer. And Helldivers gives you things like your accuracy and shots fired. And so I wanna find out, does your computer setup matter? Let's get into the testing. Starting with my main setup, I jumped on some aim labs with some grid shot ultimate, of course, which just tests your accuracy and speed. You gotta shoot as many of the balls as you can in the shortest time with the most accurate accuracy, I got a score of 43,000 and 94.6% accuracy, which is pretty good. Not the greatest, but pretty good. I then jumped on Helldivers. I'd like to clarify, while Helldivers has different planets and abilities, all these were done with the exact same stratagems, as well as on Hellmire, which does mean they're all against the Terminids. But my kills were 278, accuracy of 73.1%, and only three deaths. But with that, I then jumped onto the laptop, in which same thing, Gridshot Ultimate. I did a run of that, and the score ended up being 27,000 with only 91.3 accuracy, which is lower. Not by a crazy amount, but is certainly lower. I then, though, got into Helldivers 2, which graphics settings were so much lower, and the FPS was still far lower. It ran just poorly. But getting into the stats themselves, as it was still playable, the kills were 202, accuracy was only 50%, everything was lower, even the except for the deaths, which ironically were higher, everything was just not good. Comparing them, I have on top the laptop and on bottom the PC, and the scores speak for themselves. The aim labs was not crazily higher, but definitely higher. And on Helldivers 2 on the left is my PC, on the right is the laptop, and you can see that just all of the stats were so much better. Or well, having a better keyboard and mouse can clearly improve increase your abilities. Surprisingly, so does having good specs, as even things just looking nicer, finer, and better frame rate will all make you play better. And so, assuming it's, it is a higher performance game like Helldivers, having it run smoother on better hardware at higher resolutions is gonna affect your gaming performance and substantially, not by a small amount. And so while I have heard plenty of people say, oh, why buy a mouse like this when I can just buy this? That's why. One of them is more comfortable, easy to use, and just honestly more enjoyable to use. Even if we don't look at the statistics, I just, honestly, I just didn't enjoy using the keyboard and mouse together. Honestly, I didn't mind the keyboard. The mouse was more of the problem, especially for games if it's all you've got, I respect it, it gets the job done, because neither of my stats were bad, but if you've got the money, it's worth investing into better. And so TLDR, your gaming performance will be affected by your gaming setup. But if you learned something and you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm a small tech channel and help out a ton. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.